Hey guys, hope everybody is doing well. Uh, this is going to be the norm for us for the foreseeable future, at least till April 20th, if not till the end of the school year. So we'll just kind of have to see how things go, but we'll make it work the best that we can. I'm sure that you have heard from teachers or Mr. Stanley or Mr. Garcia or from reading stuff on the internet, the changes that have been made for <clears throat> IB with the cancellation of the exams. I don't want to speak on your other classes, but for history specifically, your entire grade is going to be based on your internal assessments. So if you were HL, this was going to be 20%. If you were SL, it was going to be 25%. And now it is 100% regardless of which section you have registered for. So uh, fortunately, most of us are done or pretty close to done. And we spent a lot of time working on these. Um, so what I'm going to go through now is reiterate the sections of the paper, uh, things that you should be trying to do to score well. We'll go through the rubric, what you're being graded on. Um, again, you want to do everything possible that you can check all the boxes uh, to make sure that you're getting the most points possible on this as this is, this is something that you actually have control over it's not an exam you're not going in hoping you got a question you feel comfortable with write your answer and submit it right you're able to actually go back and make edits to these um, this should be beneficial um, and really improve our, our IB scores. So um, deadlines are not changing. Uh, the IB wants these on the original date. And so we need the IAs from you guys by April 1st because we need time to um, upload them, put in our predicted grades, our comments on them, et cetera, uh, in time for to meet the IB deadline. So it's really crucial if you are not done yet that you are progressing on this. And I'm sure the same thing for all of your other classes as well. Uh, so it might be a very busy uh, next three or four days for you guys. But on the flip side of that, you don't have to cram and, and prepare for the exams in May. So, um, you know, uh, a lot of extra work right now means a lot less work over the next few weeks. So we're going to jump into now looking at, again, what are the sections of the paper? What do you need to be doing um, in order to maximize your points on this assignment?